So I'm driving down the road and a check engine line, the ABS light comes on. And then like half my gauges, they go to zero. And then a few seconds later, everything goes back to normal. The lights go off. And that happened around five or six times. But the check engine light and ABS light, ABS light, they stayed on. So if I go to the if I go to the active fault, it gives me zero. So ABS check engine light. That's the emission light. That's for something else. So I do have a OTR diagnostic link tool. I'm about to hook it up and see what it says. For the last few days, it's been giving me issues, which I kind of already know what it is. I believe it's the CPC4. I'm about to hook it up, see if it gives me the same thing. Sometimes the the def, the low def light, it'll be blinking red. So that's uh, another thing that has been happening. But all my gauges, my odometer and everything has been going to zero. I might take out the um, CPC4, which is located behind this. I'm probably gonna take it out and just kind of inspect it. I've seen some some uh, articles online that maybe one of the pins, you know, they become corroded or you know something like that. It might be an easy fix. But essentially, the CPC4 is it's having trouble communicating with the truck. A couple of days ago, this happened. The check engine line, the ABS light, they they stayed on, and I pulled over, and the the truck has a kill switch from the truck to the battery. So I turned that off uh, for a few few minutes, and then I turned it back on, and those lights went away. But like 300 miles down the road, the the issue, you know, still persists. So I'm about to see what I can figure out. So the bit that you need for these is a T25, and you got four. One, two, three, four. And I took these off over here, but I don't think you need to take these. This one has four too. So I'm about to finish taking it off. I just took this off and uh, I don't know how good you can see, but this box over here. This is the CPC4. I'm about to take it out. It was zip tied over here, but looks like it fell off or something. So that's the CPC4. I'm about to just disconnect these and try to see if I can find anything wrong with them. I'm not gonna open it up. I'm just gonna disconnect the cables right here. So I got those four disconnected. I'm just gonna inspect them. <sighs> Probably blow on it. See if that'll fix anything. So these tend to go bad because uh, the the soldering uh, parts inside they seem to go bad with all the vibration and shaking, um, and also that you get moisture inside of it and that kind of causes problems. Also, at the height of the pandemic, I had a I was having some issues with the truck. It ended up being the ECM, but the mechanic thought it was this for this. For this part, you're looking around. I don't know what the current market is, but at that time, it was in late 2022. I mean, people uh, price jacked the prices on these. I mean, you're probably looking about 3,500 for one of these. 
Now I've been looking online. You you probably send it into a shop, get it repaired for under a thousand bucks. Uh, so they'll they'll fix it for you. But the thing is with that is the downtime. Um, so you're probably looking at about three to five days downtime. Plus, uh, if you have any towing bills or anything like that. So I am currently on the road. I'm in California, headed to Florida. My truck is running fine, but those lights just came on. So I don't know if I should risk it and wait till I get home and see if I can send this to get it repaired. You know, to maybe I, there's the potential of me getting stranded on the road, having to get towed. If if this if this is the problem, which I think it is, so we'll see we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. I'm I'm about to put it back together and see if that does anything. These were getting getting stolen a lot during the pandemic, just because this part was so hard to come by and it's so valuable. I mean, you. There are stories left to write about these getting stolen off trucks. It's crazy, man. Come on. So I just finished putting it back together. I'm about to turn it back on, see if uh, anything changes. The lights did go away, but like I said a couple of days ago, uh, I, ha I was having the same issues. I pulled over, I turned off the battery switch and let it rest for a little bit. Then I turned the truck back on. Now the lights are gone, but after driving a few hundred miles, the, the issue still continued. So if there is something wrong with the CPC4, then I'm gonna find out you know in a few hundred miles I mean this over the last couple of days it's, it's been happening so often but the truck has been running fine it just give me those those lights and stuff so I'm about to get back on the road and keep you updated see what happens so it's been a couple months since I took the CPC4 out and messed with it uh, so far it has given me the issue one time but that's because I was going east on in Colorado I left Denver going east on I-70 and those roads are bad so I think I think what's happening is is the, the cables getting loose or something it's missing communication it's definitely not as bad as it was but it's so far so good I mean like I said only that one time so maybe you just need to to try to reconnect it you know mess with the cables but so like I said like the lights and everything they'll come on but then they'll they'll go off after a few seconds but so if, if they don't go off and your truck doesn't want to run or anything like that then probably you're gonna have to get it replaced or send it in to get it fixed but I mean that's it I mean hopefully that that video helps somebody <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.